Hey guys, it's the Lion Lover76 here again. And uh, today I'm going to show you how I make my loads for my gondolas. So what you're going to need is some old track that doesn't that will be completely useless, whether it's a curve or a straight. Needle nose pliers. Any kind of flathead screwdriver. And a hacksaw. One of the, I forgot what these are, what these are called, but the, one of these really helps tool too. Okay. So um first thing you want to do is you want to take your track, take your needle nose pliers, pull out all the pins if there are any pins in the track. And next what you're going to do is you're going to take your flathead screwdriver and pry all the uh, ties off of the rails, all of the rails. So while you guys are watching me pry open all this track, tell me, how's your weekend been? We'll have a little bit of a uh, conversation through the comments. Comment below, did you have, tell me how your uh, 4th of July was. I went up north to uh, see my aunt in Caseville, Michigan. And, uh, had a great time there camping. Um, this next week I'm going to a uh, band camp. Um, so there won't be videos for the next two weeks and then when I get back hopefully I'll have something to report on. You never know, maybe uh I'll be able to put my first Minecraft videos up. I know you guys might not be as interested in that but um I'm thinking about doing a uh memorial video. I made a uh thing of for the Edmund Fitzgerald and a few other shipwrecks. I'm thinking about doing a memorial to all those uh, that I've built so far. There we go. Alright. So now we have the three rails. Now from here, depending on the size of your gondola, you're going to either leave them like this or use the hacksaw to cut them. Now, uh, let me just grab... Alright, I have a uh, flat car that I need to put some, uh, some of these on, so what you're going to do is you're going to put it in here. Let me just tighten it up. Alright, so you can see all the bends from the uh, screwdriver. So what you want to do, you want to take your hacksaw and just cut right down the middle. I'm still learning how to use the hacksaw, so for those of you who are raging about me not uh, doing something right, just shut up. I'm a noob at this, okay? I will, I will. I'm a noob with the hacksaw. Now, while I 
we got that at uh, Caseville. We went to go see some uh, other friends who had a cottage up there. And there are, there's this really cool shipwreck up there. Um, you're not going to be able to find anything on Google. Trust me, I tried to, but, uh, basically there, there are these two shipwrecks right on top of each other, actually. One is a, uh, steamship that went down in 19, uh, or not 19, 1810. Then, uh, two years later in 1812, another ship came along and, uh, went over the wreckage of the first one, and that ship then sunk right on top of the other one. Now, they're pretty much buried under the sand, but, yeah. Alright, so after this, I'm going to, uh, show you how to do the curves. But the curves is pretty much the exact same thing, except you kind of have to use a hacksaw. Now, I'm just going to speed up the process. And, uh, not pry off the, uh, ties, just for the, uh, sake of time. So, basically what you want to do, you just want to take the curve. You want to do all the stuff that I did on the straight, but, just again, just for the sake of time. I'm just going to cut it. Or actually, can't. Because, like I said, I'm a noob with the hacksaw. So, uh, for those of you out there who have layouts, um, I know Gary was, uh, train room Gary was asking me about the layout. He has a really good layout. You should, uh, check you should check him out got a really nice layout I would do a shelf layout but I mean I I'm a guy who likes or wants to uh, start doing a lot of scenery and with a shelf layout you can't really do that much scenery and plus we don't have that much space down here anyways I mean, already I'm looking at uh taking my brother's room and uh, he moves out, but my mom's taking up for her scrapbooking table, or scrapbooking room, and yeah. So, uh, after this, I'll grab my, uh, Pennsylvania diesel, put that on the, uh, track with the, as I like to call it, the, uh, steel train, since that's pretty much all it's carrying are these rails. Carrying these rails and uh, two tank cars. So let me just finish taking out all the pins. And I won't trust you. Basically, um, you don't want to do this with brand new rails. This is just some 027. If you watch layout update uh, number one for my new layout, um, you would know that. I, uh, changed, changed the layout name, and then I got a bunch of stuff from my uncle. Um, well, he found it at a garage sale, I paid him back, and whatnot, but, uh, anyways, he brought back this huge box of 027 tracks. Some of it is, was usable, some of it wasn't, so the stuff that's not usable, I'm doing this too. So, again, you want to take the hacksaw. Either go down the middle or any wherever it'll fit. Don't mind me, just being a new with the And 
And there we go. Ooh, that's hot. That ow, ow, that rail, that rail is hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right, so here is our uh, load for the gondolas. So let's take them over here and uh, load up our gondolas with our brand new track. Then uh, I'm going to take the street pieces that we cut, put those on this flat car, since this is actually a uh, Republic Steel flat car, which I find very fitting. I know, Republic Steel, there's steel rails on it, oh my god. Like, such a coincidence, you know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the reason I use my, uh, Pittsburgh S2, or not P Pittsburgh. Ah, whatever. It was just, thank God it was just my alarm clock. If you're wondering why I have an alarm clock down here and it's off, I really just used it to play mu music. Okay, let's open up my brand spanking new train shelf. Take my diesel. Put that over there. Take off the uh, my brand new steam locomotive. As you guys saw in layout update number one of my new layout, everything on this layout is new. New loads for the cards right now. We got uh, my new steam locomotive. We have a new car right here on the layout. So we have my new frame shelf. Alright, enough with the uh, new. Okay, uh, here we go. Well, uh, as you can see, these uh, really do go well in the cars. No, it's, it's just that uh, it's just something with uh, gondolas and old rusty rails that go together. Oh no, power just went out. Alright, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Talk to you later. This is the Line of Lovers 76 saying goodbye. And oh god, is a power outage!